It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Boom! Mickey's on his period. But don't worry, we're going to bring him up, people. Mickey's having a bit of a down day. He's on his monthly cycle. But we're fine. We're going to get over it and we're going to cheer Mickey up along the way. Mickey, how many Easter eggs did you get? None. Oh. Well, thanks for joining us on another episode. <laughs> <laughs> It's not Easter yet. <laughs> it is Easter. It's technically Easter Monday. We're, they don't know we're recording this on Thursday oh, before Easter. Okay. But currently, it's fine. Currently, I have no eggs in. Let's go with that. He's got, he's got to collect a few. How's everybody doing? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to ask Mickey how he was, but he looks like he's about to shit and stamp in it. So it's all right. But he's having a down day. So we're just going to bring him up. I'm going to have a chat. Just a quick one. I'm going to keep it going. Mickey. Hello. Tell me, what are you craving for at the moment? Uh, sleep. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's Do you know what? Way. Yesterday, I could have gone to bed at 7 o'clock. <gasps> oh, are you aching? Oh, what have you done? I think it's tennis elbow, but I don't play tennis. But, you know, like from straining all the muscles and hurts right on this bend. Oh, Bit of poorly elbow, have you? Bit of poorly elbow, have you? I don't like Niles. Oh. He's a cunt. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, someone's been injecting heroin this week. Oh, I've had a... I've, had a, I've, been, I've stopped being negative and then been trying to be positive. Fucking no, seriously, like what, what, what have you done? I don't like it. It's because I fucking carry everything that weighs 50 kilograms at a time. And it's just too much. That's some man shit right there, dog. That's some man shit right there. My man's a grave digger. <laughs> my, my body's used to being in a fucking office. Walking around the house. You know, that's about it. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you're not anymore, mate. Right? No. You're on the graph now. Right? What you need to do is you need to get free for a wanna and six six cans of Stella. And you'll be fine. You'll be I'm good to be, go. I'm not beating no women. <laughs> you're you're a you're a blue collar worker now, my friend. What's that mean? It means you're a man's man. You're a, you're a, you're a grafter. Ah, yeah, oh, I am. Very Do you know what I mean? So. Exactly. Yeah. But what's what's been happening with your week? What's been going on apart from the old? The old wanking injuries. What's been going on? <laughs> I'm fucking soaked every day. This fucking weather's pissing me off. This weather's pit. That's what's making you blue. Blue Monday's been going on since Blue Monday, and the weather's not fucking changed. Well, I've had a few days of sunshine, which is not so nice when you're out in it all day long. Sneak, sneaky days of sunshine. Just snippets of sun. You look at it and you go, ah, oh, look at it. Then you turn around and there's clouds following it. Yeah, it's like, yes, sir. Every time. I was digging the grave yesterday, and then just before we finished it, the heavens opened, and it's like, oh, it's fucking, and they didn't stop for like three hours, and by then, by the time you finished everything, the rain stops, and it's like, well, I'm already soaked, wet, dirty, Do they fill up? Filthy. Do the graves fill? Fill up? Yeah, they do. Not, not from like rain instantly, though. Um, it's more the ground, the water level in the ground. The water on the ground, yeah. Because I'm, we, we're we on a slope. Most of the new ones are at the bottom or near the bottom. Mm. So the drainage, it can't drain quick enough. Um, so, yeah, we have to pump graves normally. We, we dig them, like, the day before. And then the next morning before the funeral, we have to, like, pump them out, prepare them, dress them, get them ready for the, the vicar and the, and the hearse and all that, so... Yeah, it's good. Very interesting job. Very, very different. It's not what you imagine it is involved with uh, a funeral. So, mm. but we had two. We had um, two funerals today. One was an, an ashes burial, and one was like a normal grave that I dug yesterday. And I had to put the ashes in the ground. It's in a little wooden box, little casket, mm. because. 
the people that were were attending the the Ashes burial were quite old, mm. and they didn't want to. Normally, somebody does it, but there was no one there to do it, so they asked me. And I'm like, okay, I've never done this before, so I had to do it in front of like five people. I know it's not a lot, but it's like you have to do it a certain way. Don't just drop it in the hole because the hole is two foot six for a, an Ashes. That's like. So can you can you fit your hands down the yeah, size of the box to get it in? It's about this square. Right. Okay. Uh, what we dig, and then it was it it came down my about here, so just mm. above my elbow. I was deep in there, and I'm like. <laughs> Don't drop it. They're watching. You know, you have to do it respectfully, like bow, oh, hello, etc. It's like I'd never done that before. So that was that that's was, nice. That's nice, though, right? You're doing something for somebody that you know. Yeah, yeah. That's a it's their final resting place. place. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. So it's all about respect. Working in the funeral uh, um, cemetery, everything is about respect. How you act, how you deal with the public, how you look after the graves, etc. So yeah. It, it, it's a place that will always, you know, need to be nurtured and it's always going to be passed on to somebody else to look after. So yeah. whoever comes in after you will be taught exactly how they need to do it, how the ground should be maintained. I've seen a lot of these, a lot of these cemeteries now, they're doing this whole, um, the white letter box. I don't know if yours is doing it. So they're doing a white letter box, basically, where people can write letters and, you know, you put them in the letterbox and it's just let it's called letters to heaven you know you send it to a loved one you write a letter and send it to a loved one oh, okay so i've seen a lot of cemeteries doing that which i think is a good idea you know so how does that work if someone brings a letter to your cemetery you yeah. take the letter you take the letter to the letterbox so someone will drop it off to me and i have to take it there no no the individual so you it doesn't it doesn't in theory, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, someone will just kindly remove them from the letterbox. Oh, there's a letterbox in the fun in the cemetery. Yeah, I seen a cemetery in uh, well, uh, Wellingborough that was doing it. And somebody puts it in there. Yeah, somebody. You, you if you've got something you want to say to somebody that's no longer with us, or oh, you just having a really, you haven't. Wh when's that then? When I don't that? know. I just, I seen it the other day. I seen. I've just seen a post about it. Oh, because. I work in all three in that said town, and I've, I've never seen them there. Look out for it. Come into a oh. town near you. <laughs> I'm in the town it's in, <laughs> apparently. Wait, there you go. <laughs> but no, I suppose it's a good idea. It's like letters to Santa Claus for kids. Yeah, but also I think it's a good idea, you know. If you, if you think about some of the people that have passed over, if, if this conversation, you like, especially... Especially being grandparents a lot of the time, you know, parents, grandparents, whoever, family members, loved ones. You think about it, most of those in they, most of those figures were inspirational to your life, you know. Yeah. So when you're having a shit time, you're literally just thinking, God, you know, I want to talk to that person. And maybe write maybe write a letter is a good thing. Yeah, I suppose. Or you could just go to the grave and talk to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You must see a lot of people do that. I, I would think I'd do that. that we, we have regulars that turn up at certain same time every day. Mm. You know, go to the same place, obviously. So, yeah, we have the regulars. You, you'd be surprised how many people just turn up to walk their dogs. And it's like, some of them don't even clear up shit. I mean, that's just, it's just it's it's terrible. How, how disrespectful can that be? You know, it's, um, yeah, I think that's disgusting, but hey, 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 hey. It, it is what it is. It's, you know, it is what it is. We're not, we're not the poo police, so no. So, what else has been going on? What have you been up to? Not much, to be fair. I'm trying to improve on my health. I ordered some more tablets. What, what kind of tablets? I ordered some Shilajit tablets rather than <laughs> eating the fucking gooey tar stuff i don't believe in shillers yet yeah these have got ash what's that ashwagandha or whatever it is ashwagandha ashwagandha in it is it yeah. i, I just that. believe it's another hype sea moss lion's mane ashwagandha yeah they're all in it all in this tablet yeah back in my day it was ginseng moringa seeds 
Although Moringa seeds are like a can of Red Bull. Like one seed and you're like... Woo! I've never heard of Moringa seeds. Moringa seeds. Are they? They're a little seed you put in your mouth and it's got like a little... not I wouldn't say fluffy, but quite a dry outer, outer layer. And as soon as you bite it, it tastes like sweets. Which is really okay. weird. Because you expect it to be... You expect it to be disgusting, but it's really, yeah. really sweet. And then all of a sudden, your energy levels after them. I mean, they work for me. Ginseng was a popular one. I used to have ginseng shots. Um, I think every, all these products can be good for you in a certain extent. I don't believe they're body transformation tablets. Or, you know, they're going to do you the world of good. You know, I believe all vitamins will do you the world of good. If you're using them as part of a balanced diet, plenty of water, plenty of sleep, you know, all the things that we don't get, you know, I mean, your, your diet can be really good one week, shit the next. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make my diet like, okay. And I'm going, I'm not punishing myself. So if I have something, you know, if we like, we had an Indian the other night, I'm not punishing myself for that. I'm just trying to go. Okay, we've had one now. Leave it a few weeks before you have another takeaway. Yeah, so I had it in the other night. I'm not going to feel bad about it. It was just, it was one night, I had a takeaway, and I thought, right, you know, that's it now. Treats, I've cut out treats. So, because my problem is, is nine to five, between the hours of nine and, say, two o'clock, I live purely on coffee and water. I don't eat anything till two o'clock every day. Mm. So, I don't have breakfast. Black coffee, water, espresso, that's it for me. So I'm technically fasting all the way up until 2 o'clock. My problem is it's between the hours of 8 and 11 p.m. Because oh, if, I'm watch, if, I'm watch, if I'm watching telly for three hours, I'm like, snack. And it's not just if you get a packet of biscuits. The law is you've got to finish a packet of biscuits, right? You don't just fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have two. You've got to have 17. And the packet, yeah. I don't like, you know, the big packets of crisps, right? Because if you crack one and you've, you, you're three quarters of the way through and you're like, I'm not having no more. Just fuck it, I'm not having no more. That's I will fun. roll the, I'll roll the bag up and I'm like, no more. And then it'll be a break or an advert. I'll go for a piss, come back. Oh my God, I might as well finish it. I've already started up now. Problem is that, that was like every night that I was eating something like biscuits, some a dessert, I always think I had to have a dessert every night. That's only recently as well. I never used to eat sweet things. Told you. It's being married, man. It fucks you. That got drummed into my head working in care. Like preparing meals and that. Oh, what they're having for pudding. Well, I don't have pudding at home. Very rarely I eat pudding. I never have a mm. meal and then say, right, I need to have apple pie or a fucking brownie or, you know. That doesn't happen. I would only no. buy food for my meal. I wouldn't buy pudding. But in care, obviously, you, if you're preparing lunch and dinner, quite often they want two puddings. And it's like, fucking hell, yes, two puddings. No wonder you're all fat. Fucking hell. Because everyone, the the un, the un untold rule in care is at some point, everybody needs to be on a diet. Mm. You've experienced that. The yeah. two, care, two care jobs you've worked in. They always say, oh, such and such is eating too much. Look at the problem is, is... You have to weigh is, them, and it's like, really? But then at the same time, you promote their choice. If they make their own personal exactly. decisions, it's like, exactly. well, that's fine. You can't change that. But then I said that to myself, though, is, is that you're making a decision, right? You can't moan about your jeans being too tight or you fucking you feel out of shape or you look out of shape if you're still eating the shit. Mm. My biggest my biggest problem is, is is I've said yes too many times or, or I'll start Monday or, you know, I won't do this and I won't do that. And then I moan about it. I am my own worst critic because I will talk myself out of going to the gym because I'll think, no, nah, it's all right, mate. You don't need to go. Don't you worry, mate. Put your feet up. It's all right. You can go another day. Don't you worry about it. And then I get there. And I literally force myself to do, and I kill myself now in the gym. And I'm because I'm trying to catch up to where at one point in my life. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm just trying to catch up to where I was. You never will. Get I get it. You never get there. I might do. 
Unless I might do. get some meal prep. Oh, or, or get a nutrition. Get a chicken. Delivery. Get a chick, chicken and rice company at your door <laughs> every chicken, day. Chicken, brown rice, broccoli, three times a day. Oh. There you go. Three times a day for six years, mate. Yeah, and no, you look like a fucking iron board. <laughs> the problem is, is I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be in no miracle shape. I'd like to be in, in a nice shape where I'm, I'm, where I'm happy. Yeah, you know, the problem is, you get to a certain, you get to a certain age, and you start, you know, you start working out, and you start trying to look after yourself. It's like there's always people always feel there's an ulterior motive for it. Like, and I'm like, no, trust me, anything I do for my personal appearance is for myself, right? Because I. I'm more vain than I care to mention, but at the same time, I'm I'm upset with myself for the fact that I've let myself get in out of shape so much. Yeah, I'll go this week, so I yeah, I, we all do. I go through stages where I'm not bothered for weeks and weeks on end, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, hold on a second, you've been neglecting that. This week, past week, last week as well has been pretty hardcore at the gym. Today past two days I've been doing an experiment and I've, I did, I, I was like, right, I want to know where I'm getting maximum effort out of my workout. Okay. So I did Monday, I did all cardio, all cardio. And I did half an hour incline walking, not holding on incline walking half an hour. Number, f- I don't know, like mediocre fast, not, mm. not like fucking sprinting or anything just walking uphill at grade 12. So not at its peak, but sort of three quarters. Did that, did the cross trainer, and then did the whole skiing thing. Not that thing. (laughs) Um, Oh, wait a minute. And then then today I did, I did weights. I did, I did an hour's worth of weights, but then I did, I did chest, triceps, and arms. But then after that, I did like a, I did a kettlebell and a like a disc, you know, like a weight, like a disc, like yeah. a plate. So I did, I did four lots of twenty of up, over, up, back down to your chest, and then squat with it. So I did four lots of twenty of that. That was killer. However, I will say, and I checked my data because everybody loves the data. My blood pressure was like my heart rate was so much more elevated within the weight training. My calories were double what I did cardio. And they will and be. what I burn. Ca- cardio and, is just open calories. It's, it's fucking pointless. You burn but I felt from cardio. Um, I felt weights. better from doing that, and I thought even yeah. when I was doing it, I was hurting. Like afterwards, yeah, yeah. about an hour, I was hurting. Now, late. I mean, I did this what lunchtime. I'm fine now. I'm, I'm not aching. I'm all right. Recovered well. So, for me, it's like, I enjoy weights. Cardio, I hate cardio. I hate it. I, I used to be such a good runner, really good runner, but I just can't... I used to... Do you, do you run? <laughs> I can't fucking walk, let alone run. Well, it, I, I can, as, yeah. as a runner, you... I don't, yeah, I don't run. We should speak to... A, We've got a friend who's a runner. Ryan. Ryan's a runner, isn't he? don't know. You have to switch off. Like, yeah, when you're running, you have to switch off and you have to sort of turn your brain off and then just go, just keep in repetitive movements. Keep it going. And don't stop. Mm-hmm. And, tell, and just switch your mind off and just keep going. It's good and for that, your mental or, health. Any exercise is good for your mental health, though. Yeah, that's what I like about the gym. The rare times I go to gym now, I just look around and I think, well, then, like, I like people watching in the gym. And I, I don't want to be on a Joey Swell fucking video. <laughs> but, you know, seeing how other people work out, are they going, like, too much, like, rah, fucking roid man? Or mm. is it some girl doing uh, uh, little fucking things in the gym? Or well, everyone's at different levels, and that's fine. I don't judge, I don't give a fuck. But, it's nice to watch, to see what they're doing, see if they're enjoying it, see how they're progressing. You know, I enjoy that. That's a weird thing to say, but it is. I do it. Last time I went to him, I did enjoy going. Good. So, it's like once in seven, once in two. But months. don't, 
I don't think you should stop though. Just I know you're doing a lot now and you're losing probably a I've, hell of a lot of weight. I've lost half a stone now. I, I realised the other day. Uh, that's just and that's from, just that's general 12, work. That's from like twelve to fifteen miles a day walking movement, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's why my but don't falling apart. <laughs> but maybe that's what maybe if you did strength training conditioning, maybe that would build up more strength to deal oh, with those days. I just don't have the energy. I come home and I can be asleep by seven, easy. Yeah, you're not. I can yeah, fucking. I can my whole body is just like, ugh. like probably after filming this, I'll go to bed. <laughs> fucking, you know. But then that's, that's what you need, is. right? You need you need the sleep, right? And you you're doing a killer job. You you in tomorrow? No, I'm off for four days now. Yeah, because they were off. Easter holiday. Woo, woo. Happy bunny. Have you got any plans for your Easter? Yeah, I'm going up to... Oh, nearly said where, where he lives. To see my son tomorrow. Because it's Easter, Good Friday. Good old Jesus killed on the cross tomorrow. You're taking your family up for a trip to see your son, yeah? Yeah, my, my other son and my mum and dad were going up there to see him. So, nice. Yeah. yeah, we haven't seen him since Christmas. So, And he wasn't coming home for Easter. Um, because I think he finishes in like five weeks, so he said yes. he, might, he might as well just stay up there. So I thought, oh, I'll go see him. Ah, oh, so this is his is this is this his first year, right? Yeah. So in May he finishes. So then next year, done. Yeah. yeah. And then next year, is he? Have you discussed with him whether he's getting a flat with his mates or house share oh, or going going back already, to halls? He's already sorted out where he's staying. Next, for next year they've got to do it so early you see just to make sure yeah, yeah, yeah. get the place get somewhere yeah, yeah so yeah that's all sorted i've seen pictures of his room and that uh i think it's a three-bed house mate how have you got how have you got a son in university already because <laughs> i'm so fucking young that's what it is <laughs> just a fucking young dad mate aren't you yeah i look young don't i 29, no. 31. <laughs> Wait, mate, you will feel better. Your fucking, your body will be telling you you're younger. You're just, your bones will be going, we're fucking Help tired, me. right? We're fucking Help tired. <laughs> oh, have you put some of that, have you put some of the oil on? Your nah, no, tennis? no, it's only, it only really kicked in last night and I just went to bed. And I thought, okay. So I will be putting Chinese oil on. Um, and also, I've ordered um, the tennis elbow strap thing from amazon five pound mm. coming tomorrow so yeah i'm sure that's going to give you all the medical benefits of five pound <laughs> well it's just a fucking strap it's just to support it isn't it keep the the muscle in check really medical um, aids man that's it you get older and you realize you the, the kind of shit that we're buying like I'm, last few months ago i'm buying things fucking cushion for my neck <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh God, you've got one as well, <laughs> man. They're good. I didn't know how to use it at first. I'm like, this hurts. <laughs> oh. I, 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 had, I had pain all down my left side, and I thought, oh, you fucker, you're really sore. So I thought, get that as an impulse Amazon buy for eight quid. And he's just, oh, it does fucking hurt though. <laughs> so, ow. Okay, but it all's supposed to hurt. It's all gonna hurt. It hurts. It, it hurts anyway. Good old. Um, I would say Timu, but it's not Timu. But, but mm, this Timu TikTok. TikTok. Good old mid. Timu, good old East. Amazon. Let's say the good old East. Yeah. Anything Same. you buy from me, what? Go ahead. Yeah, so that's good. All the shit we buy. Oh, we shit. love reviewing shit. I if it, if I buy so good. much shit. I'm trying to see what I've got around me, but yeah, I buy so much shit all the time. <laughs> Although, have you seen these new? So there's these new things that I really want to get, but I can't justify the money. It's got it's called a Stand By Me, and it's by the company LG, and it's basically an iPad about this big, size of a 32 inch telly. You put it in your house, and you move around the living room and dining room and kitchen and that. No, no, so it's on a, it's on like a stand on wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You put it anywhere, yeah. That's what yeah. I mean, yeah, you move it around. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was, I was like, dang, that'd be pretty cool. Because we don't have a, t so we don't have a telly in our bedroom. We say bed, bed's bed. We don't have a TV. That's where the action Although, happens. 
don't need a telly. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. We don't need a telly. We got a whole book. We got a whole book to get through. <laughs> We've got a bookcase full of books. <laughs> we read that shit. <laughs> oh, I. I ain't read a book in so long. I went. I had. A, I, had lo- I was doing loads of reading months ago, and I've stopped. I got loads of books for Christmas because I wanted. I put them on my Amazon list, so I got loads. You could get some reading done, motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't read them. <laughs> Ten minutes a day. Ten minutes a day. That will sort your mood right doing now. That. I was doing that. I was reading some Borley Rectory uh, book. I read like four chapters. Okay, see. That's, that's about it. That was You're about doing stuff. Two months ago. <laughs> Basically, oh, since mate! I, since I got this job, I'm just completely, completely flummoxed. Every day, I just need rest. You put. So it's good though. That's what Eventually, I... I'll get used to it, and I'll get stronger, and I'll improve, and it'll be okay. Yeah, exactly. It's just that my body is not used to this at all. At all. So, you need a hot bath, mate. Hot I bath. I need a fucking ice bath. I'm going to buy one and give my mum 30 quid and say, I'm filling this up. Mum! Fill that bath up, motherfucker! <laughs> you know, I, just, I think that will that'll help me. Oh, God. Have you been in yours lately? Probably not. I bet you've only been in it once. <laughs> no, I went in there a few weeks ago. I need to clean it. How often do you have to clean it? Is it? I suppose oh. it depends how much you use it. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't do anything bad. There's nothing. I'm, like, I'm not drinking the fucking thing, am I? Fucking, hell, I'm getting in it. Yeah. People yeah. swimming. People people swimming natural in fucking lakes. Go lake swimming and shit. I mean, I'm just getting in a bucket of water in the back garden. I took my hot tub down though. That fucking thing. Hot me and hot tubs are fucking finished. They can go and fuck themselves. Don't <laughs> buy a hot tub. If it, people want a reason, think, oh, we should get a hot tub for summer. Just think about it. It'll be great. We'll just get one of them nice inflatable ones. It'll be absolutely great. What, the lazy it's not E great. or whatever they're called. Don't buy a lazy spa. They're lazy shit. Thing, yeah. All right? And the reason why they're shit is the product themselves is actually great. But to keep them running, they cost you £15 a day. I put my hot spa on because my daughter wanted to. She said, oh, can, we, can we put some more in it? Set it up. Set it all up. Put it on heat overnight. Left it that day because we went out for the day. Come back and said, oh, we'll go in the hot tub later. Got too late. Went in it the following morning. Checked my online bill. 57 quid. 57 quid it had gone up by. Not for a day and a half straight. Yeah. So fuck surely, it. It's gone. Surely you just turn it on when you want to go in it, no? Does it take long to no, you... Yeah, 24 hours. Does it really? That's shit. Yeah. From oh, cold... That's... If you've got if you've got a hot water tank, you should technically you should fill it from your inside tap. So empty your hot water tank into it, and that will make it a little bit quicker. Who has a, it, a hot water tank nowadays? Nobody. You don't really oh, have them anymore. Exactly. So it's people yeah. have comic boys where it's, you have to fire it up anyway to yeah fucking get it going. So you get anyway, your electricity goes. Yeah, it's straight through the roof. I just I was just like I can't justify it. However. When I first got it, I wasn't looking at the bill. I wasn't fucking looking at it. It was rich, not realizing. <laughs> yeah, I had money. It's then. Not, it's not fucking now. I had money then, and now then I had a hot tub for a year. <laughs> Honestly, don't fucking buy one. It's waste them fucking money. Right? You think you're gonna go in it loads? It's, that's why they're cheap. That is why they're cheap to buy, and they're not they, cheap to buy. They're like three hundred fifty quid, aren't they? Yeah, so people think they're cheap. They're not cheap. It's not cheap at all. If you want one, honestly, if anybody wants one, come and see me. I've got two of the bastards. You can have them for free. Right? I've got to, I've got a spare one, didn't I? I don't know, did you? Why you get spare? Yeah. In case one breaks. Cause I got, no, because I got in touch with the original company. Because the first one I bought was from like a discount place. Got in touch with the original company. They were going bust. The original company was going bust. The brand of Hot Tub it is. Yeah. And I said, look, this is wrong with it. What can I do? And they said, don't worry, we'll just send you a replacement. And I thought they were just sending me a replacement part. No, oh. they sent me a replacement hot tub. Ah, oh, okay. So I've got another one, just stored away, brand new. So if anybody wants one, you can fucking have them. I would have had it, but it would be probably like the whey protein that never turns up. <laughs> hey, that years. whey protein, that whey protein has <laughs> actually been binned. Oh, no, my wife binned it the other day. She went, no, you do realise this is two years out of date. 
was like, oh shit. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I've I've had to bend a lot of supplements. All a lot of supplements I was buying all out of date. It's because they're all fads. You go through phases where you like it. I am literally. Good. Oh, do you know what lamb? Oh, last last weekend I had lamb. I had lamb I shank had... last weekend. Oh, had shank. so my mother-in-law made a roast, and I'm talking. When she does a roast, she does a fucking roast. It's like, like a Christmas every... dinner. She she yeah, that's it. She does she does a Christmas dinner for a roast. Yeah, and but she did chicken, and she also did lamb. And she had lamb and mince, lamb and mint sauce. Honestly, I could not stop eating it. <laughs> fucking love lamb and mint. I'm obsessed. Steaks, I love a steak. I realised I could never be vegetarian. I couldn't do it. That's because they're weird. No, but I just no, why? They are weird. Why would you like, ever you turn ever, meat down? You ever, you ever bit into a into even just? We'll take it basic, right? Just two. Nasty cheap white loaves of bread, you know the soft stuff, Warburton's orange one, yeah, and oh, crispy bacon. Shit, that's good stuff. Crispy bacon and just yeah. ketchup or all brown sauce, either oh, one, and you oh, just bite own. into it. Fuck off! No, you don't. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. You're a wanker. Don't put mayo in a fucking bacon sandwich, mate. You're a dick. The only time I ever have ketchup is on a a fry up. Yeah, yeah. I put it in with, yeah, I have it with a fry up or with like a bacon sarni or something. Yeah, but you don't have mayo with it. Yeah, I do. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> That's fucking weird. <laughs> Mate, put it on a debate, people. Would you? Where do you put mayonnaise? Or where wouldn't you put mayonnaise? Because Mickey puts it on everything. Cereal, toast. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate in the butt, in the bath. <laughs> On his clean washing, <laughs> deodorant. Then I lick it later. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you one of them tubs. You know the industrial tubs of Hellman's <laughs> for, ne for next year's Christmas present. Is gonna be a big tub of Hellman's. Make sure it's full fat. I don't want no light shit. Oh, don't we go for light shit? I love Philadelphia. I love Philadelphia cheese. That's On my one. Digestive biscuits. Oh. Fuck off! Why are you fucking weird? What? You don't. That's that's a thing. Sorry, you can ask people for this. I used to have that when I was a kid. No. Did you, you have Chris sandwiches when he was a kid? Yes. Oh, I love a Chris sandwich. There you go. Oh. Do you, what I used to also do is I used to have um, get bread, yeah, put put some butter on it, put banana on it, then some cheese, and then put Fuck it off. The, put it under the grill, yeah. Oh no! And then you take it out and you put chocolate spread on the fucker. Mother Fuck bitch. off! Yeah. Cheese and chocolate spread. Yeah, try it. Yes. You're a wanker, mate. No, You're no, an absolute weird. cunt. What's You're a with... dick. <laughs> What's wrong with having nice food stuck together? No. Doesn't matter if it's not special. You go on a buffet on an all-inclusive holiday. You got all your favourite things. You just take it all. So fuck no. you. Yeah, same as Andrew. All all-inclusive. Yeah. All inclusive holiday though. Bit of that, the bit problem that, is all, the problem is with all inclusive holidays though is is that ninety percent of the time you'll go on an all inclusive, there will be hundreds of different foods, and us Brits will stick to pizza, <laughs> chicken, or burgers <Chips. laughs> and chicken sausages. There you go. Like I'm, I do go for the weird stuff. The only thing I stay, honestly, the only thing I stay away from is fish when I'm abroad because I've had uh... had a rough time. I had some salmon in a country when when I was on holiday and. It, didn't do me well, so I stay away from fish. Stay for that, I'm good. Internally damaged. However, so I went to, I went to a fancy all inclusive a couple of years ago, mm. and um, it had three, four different restaurants. Anyway, it had, and like, they've got the main buffet restaurant that everybody goes to every single night, or they've got an Italian, they've got like a, they had an Indian, and they've got something else. So we thought we'll book for the Italian one night. Okay, great. Went to it. You rather than going getting your food like a pig at a trough, they bring it out for you. They bring out the food. It's the same fucking food <laughs> that's up at the fucking pig. <laughs> you really and they only know that. Bit. They only know that because, was because I had the I had the bolognese the night before. 
It's the same bottle of Hastings at the fucking at the other restaurant. <laughs> There's nothing special to it. It's not made fresh. There's no cooks out there. It's all been fucking done already. You just get a bit of bread in a basket. That's what makes it special. You're just deluded that you actually think oh, that's, that's going to I do love a bit change, of, man. I do love a bread. Do you know when they give you a bread roll when you get somewhere? There's a there's an Italian... I don't know if it's an Italian. It's a pizza restaurant in Bedford, yeah? Mm. Right next to View Cinema. It's on like a like a river. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. A river. You go in there. Yeah, the embankment. I don't know if it's called that. Fuck knows. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a little bit... It's, little pizza restaurant and you go in there and there's a big fucking tree in there now whether they're real or not i don't know and on the ceiling it's just like ivory and plants and everything i had a pizza in there once and garlic bread the garlic bread was like fucking this big and i'm like oh wow the the food oh you get little pots of garlic oil and little bits of parmesan it's like oh my god very nice. I want to go back there at some point. So if anyone wants to buy me and take me, you're welcome. Did we go to, so we've been to this, there's an Indian restaurant just up the road from where you was, where you're talking about where that pizza restaurant is. It's just okay. across the road near, near the, 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 yeah, up from view on the corner, just before the bridge, the big bridge. Yeah. yeah. There's an Indian restaurant there and Cliff Richard goes there quite a lot. What does he? He's on, he's on. They've got about ten photos every time he comes in. They've got them all on the walls. Anyway, we've been there. It's called the Blue Monk. All right, we've been there, and honestly, the food in there is just it's something nice. else. I love I love Indian food. I love how the dishes come out. And they're really small. I'm just I love Indian food. I fucking like, love it. Where's my dinner? Food. It's too small. How can we start our podcast by talking about fucking? supplements and fucking Niall's incredible Hulk workouts to pizza and, pizza and curries. <laughs> That's typical. Well, we had to start off by me digging graves, but there you go. I mean, yeah, there you go. Flooded with water. And that's why we are the UK's most random podcast that will discuss anything. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Why that's, not? That That's how we work. That's how we roll. Um, how long do you go for a shit for? You go. If you're going for a shit. How long are you spending? Are you a quick? Sh- are you a quick shitter? Or are you like, I'm going to sit here until every bastard drops out. Uh, probably three minutes, three four minutes. Oh, that's a quick. That's a quick shitter. I would say anything and anything under five. Your class is a quick shitter. Oh, I am. I like. That's it. it. Badum badum. Yep. Random questions. Station. Random questions. What is the most recent product that you've bought? Product as in what? Sense? Anything. Anything. Your your latest purchase. That Shilajit tab- tab- tablet that should be here now. Fucking hell, your watch is good. Oh, yeah. It's on Amazon. Ah. Uh... Uh, eight stops away. 6 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. <sighs> You're like, yes, here comes my healthy tablets. <laughs> That's what I ordered. Oh, uh, the, the Sheena Jit 16,000. The Sheena Jit. 16,000 milligrams, yeah. 16,000 shits, mate. You're going to drop You're gonna drop like 12 stone overnight. <laughs> yeah, it's got Sheena Jit, Lion's Mane, Ashwagandha, Turmeric, HPMC capsules, whatever that is, mm. and organic black pepper. Ooh! A little bit of spice makes everything nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that is... To be fair, I don't really buy anything anymore because I don't... I just get... Spoiled. I own it all! I've got everything! <laughs> <laughs> You've completed Temu. <laughs> <laughs> I've completed Temu, yeah. No, it's... Uh, I don't really have time. I'm very rare. I go to Tesco to get food for work. Or You're I such a working man. You're like, listen, I do two things. I work and I all sleep. Right. I do fuck all else, mate. All right? <laughs> listen, my life is about stacking cash and smashing gash. I work, sleep, repeat, and on the weekend, 
I'll bat nine stellas and smash some gash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where that came from. But it was deep down. It came from deep within that. Something was oh, deep. God. Fucking hell, don't know what. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. <laughs> I wonder if he... Because you know you've got blokes that sound like that. Like, hello, mate, you are boss. Yeah. I wonder if they're putting it on half the time. That must hurt their voice if they are putting it on. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, the Northampton accent is... It's, it's its own class, isn't it? It's its yeah, own... It's, it's mine. Isn't it, People bro? are different. Like, you like... Because women women are very like hello but not they're not quite essex but they're a bit there's a bit of a twang in there a little bit northamptonian is like fake london isn't it it is yeah it is a bit like you've got some people are very well spoken and they speak like this and everything's pronounced lovely yeah so we don't talk to them (laughs) we just i can't stand i can't stand people that talk like that it's like that must hurt you putting on that accent that must not hurt at all. Your no, no, that's my that's my telephone voice. I couldn't. I'm, talk, I'm booking it. I couldn't talk. Oh, for 10 minutes out of I've got, now. I've got. You know, I'm like accents though. I've got them down yeah. to a T. So if I'm booking a table at a restaurant, or if I want to get a hotel upgrade, then I'm using that voice. Yeah. Because normal, normal voice, Niall ain't getting shit. <laughs> oh mate, hello mate. I... I'm from up north. <laughs> It, top but then I don't like listening. I don't like listening to myself back. But I listen to our podcast. But at the same time, I'm like, nah, fucking do, mate. We need the downloads. <laughs> I download our own every week. I download it, delete the download, and re-download again. <laughs> Honestly, I tried it one night. I was thinking, can I get our YouTube hits to three thousand? <laughs> because if you keep coming on and off, it doesn't work. <laughs> No, it doesn't. You need to watch at the end of the video or move the little thing across to the end and then start again. Then that's a view. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you watch it and then come off it and then go back on it again and it carries on where you left it, that's still the same view. Yeah. Right. Probably the can't do it. Play it, play it. <laughs> play it. <laughs> <laughs> two, mi- two million views overnight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can we can get that gold plaque somehow. I want the challenge, the gold plaque challenge. <laughs> Fucking a million. You wish. Oh, a million views. A million views. What's what's your lot what's your biggest amount of views that you've had? On what? On a video. On one of my shorts, YouTube shorts, I've had like hundred and eighty thousand no, I think about two hundred thousand. Check my, you do you out. Do you remember my cloud ceiling I did in my old house? Oh uh, yes. Yeah. But because That was had, good. That was I, good. I had music from TikTok where I got the video from. I put it on YouTube for YouTube Shorts and they copyrighted it. So I didn't get no fucking money for 200,000 views. So that would have been quite good. But yeah. I th- but well, as in video wise, I took I, back in the day when my kids were little, <coughs> I filmed them outside three houses ago uh, on Space Hoppers. Yeah, it's only about a minute long. It's had like fifty thousand views. That's and weird. It is every that's week. Weird. Every week's about six, seven hundred views on that oh, video, and it's all weird. these fucking nonces and pedos fucking watching it. I used to get the same person that would send me a message, yeah, asking where I got it from, where'd you get it from, and then I'd then I'd block them, and then they'd they'd create another account with. Basically the same name, just a couple of letters. Oh, it's that's about weird. T- there's been about twenty. They've stopped doing it now. I blocked them all. <laughs> it's like fucking weirdos. But yeah, Ooh. seven, eight hundred views a week on just my kids hopping up and down the street. They're that's about weird. I don't know six, and there's yeah, there's my dog in the garden, me talking in the front garden. Take that video down. Take it down. Fuck, man, that's weird. Yeah, I it's... have got into lately is weird. I'm serial killer documentaries although there is a new ghost one unexplained things coming on to netflix mickey you're not on it though so i don't know what's going on on that one. Oh, i went to see ghostbusters as well the other day my, my youngest yeah last week the day it come out he phoned me up the night before and said oh do you want to go see ghostbusters tomorrow i said fuck yes i forgot it was out 
So yeah, we went. I picked him up from college in town, and we fucking went there. Fucking lovely. Smashed job. it. Smashed it. Was man. Good? It was good. Really good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. I watched. What have I watched? The uh, oh god, the fucking new point. Not the new point break. Fucking hell. The uh, the new Roadhouse. Oh, I was gonna watch that because that came out on Prime last week, didn't it? Yeah. I think it's Friday. It's Friday or Saturday. Come it, on. It's a good watch. It's nothing like the original. It's not anywhere near as good as the original. No. But it's a good it's a good little watch. Before before you say anything, I never watched the original. That's for Patrick Swayze, yeah? Yeah. Did I don't know nothing about this film at all, apart from this one is like MMA with Conor McGregor and Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal fighting in cages. No. UFC. No. Is it is it what's the original That's... about? That whole little MMA thing that everybody thinks about, it's literally, it's a flashback. It's it's literally right. just a flashback. Go oh, and watch not, the movie. I'm not watching it, and it doesn't, it doesn't interest me. It's a good, honestly, it's a good film. It's, a lot it's, of people it's, said it's a, it hasn't done very well. But. I said, do you remember, you probably you probably will, but do you remember when, when WWE was popular? It is now, it's fucking massive again. Yeah, yeah. but do you remember when WWE used to, like, have a big enough budget to put Stone Cold Steve Austin in a movie. Yeah, yeah. like he, he he would he did a couple of movies at one point, and they were just terrible. Yeah, same with Hulk Hogan. He did a few. Yeah, yeah. it's like that. It's basically like the it's Rock, it's like a, a few. If, if UFC sponsored and made a movie, it'd be it'd be, it'd be that Roadhouse. movie. <laughs> it'd be uh, Roadhouse. <laughs> yeah. I watched um. Well, no, I watched the Bob Marley movie. Did I tell you about that? I'm not sure. I watched the Bob Marley, uh, Marley One Love movie. That was really, for me, that was really good. I'm a massive Bob Marley fan. So really, really good. Um, didn't give a lot of context about his life, though. Just about kind of it's towards more about the end the of his life. politics and the... the... Yeah, oh. it, it, a lot of politics. Ding dong. Is that my shit legit? She legit? He's my, <laughs> your mum is my shit here! <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, so... Murder documentaries at the moment, loving them. I watched them called the Texas Killing Fields documentary. Three parts. Is that in Texas? Really, really, inter- really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Did you go and watch the Stalker one I told you about? No, I've seen it. It's not a series. It's, a, it's like a documentary film, isn't it? It's about an hour and 21 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's not long. No, I haven't. I might be but you're tired, mate. You're tired. I'm Don't tired. you worry I'm about it. boy. I'm a tired boy. Listen, guys, we're going to keep this short and sweet this week. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Dads, Lads and Kebabs. All right, bye then. It's been fun. Hopefully, we've cheered Mickey up a bit. Hopefully, he's yeah. been able just to I didn't feel like a little bit better. I didn't like it at the beginning. You're a cunt. Just be positive, I, Mickey. I don't like, I don't like Zen. positivity. No. Zen. It annoys me. We'll just get... Mickey, you're breathe. The person, you're the person I would avoid in the canteen. <laughs> so I'm sitting on my break next to the fucker. <laughs> just kind of comes up to you and be like, Hello. Puts, your hand, puts my hand on your head. Breathe, Mickey. <laughs> Feel the energy being sucked. <laughs> I think he's been sniffing glue. <laughs> oh, love it. Honestly, guys, though, hope you all have a lovely Easter. Don't eat too many eggs. Or if you do... Easter. Get some Sheila's yet, or some ashwagandha, or some lion's mane, because these supplements will fill you with more shit. Anyway, we love you. Thanks for joining us. Peace out. Deuces. Fuck off. <laughs>